it's not the wolf. The big bad wolf? He huffs and he puffs and he... Probably not him. <gasps> who is it? Anita. Anita who? Anita, use the bathroom. Oops, sorry. What projects are you working on right now? Well, I've just finished redoing a house over in Porkville. Um, I hate to interrupt, but aren't you usually the one blowing the houses down? Yeah, but I'm trying to be a little nicer. Cool. So tell me, if you're a changed man, <clears throat> I mean wolf, <laughs> then I want you to say three nice things about Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, come on. Ah. Just give it a try. Okay. She's very nice visiting her grandma. She bakes yummy cookies. And she's a super duper fast runner. And frankly, I think she'd make a great dinner. Wow, that little red sounds pretty cool. She's all right. So, a little birdie told me that you've been working on a new book. The Art of the Scare, a memoir. Yeah, I've been working on it for quite a while. Lots of stories of me tricking people, scaring animals, eating people. Well, you don't seem that scary to me. Try me. Ah! <clears throat> Woo. Okay, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now for a segment where we read comments from our fans. Here we go. Tweedledoo Smith 123 says, Big Bad Wolf, you are so hairy. Hey. I mean, I think your hair is pretty luxurious, if you ask me. This takes a little work, you know. Three brushes. How about one more comment? Fairybird ABC says, The pig said when you were huffing and puffing, your breath smelled like cheese. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood before, but this time I want you to come on the adventure with me and you can help me defeat the wolf and rescue grandma. Wiggle, snap, story time! Okay, once upon a time a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood, that's me, was packing a nice dinner to take to her grandma's house. My grandma was sick and even though I had to walk a mile, I was ready to help my grandma because that's what good kids do, right? I packed up a sweet dinner, liver and onions and peas. Oh, you don't like that? Okay then, fruit roll-ups, some pizza, ice cream, and four Twinkies. Okay, good choices. Now, there's only one good way to get to Grandma's. It's right through the scariest forest you can imagine. That's not scary. Oh, my bad. Better? Yay! Good. Whoa, but then someone or something snatched my red hood <gasps> and snatched my basket of delicious snacks. <sighs> I've been robbed, kids robbed by a wolf. I said a wolf. And the wolf was wearing my red hood. That's a little girl's hood. He could stretch it out, the darn wolf. And he just looked silly too. Then he spoke. What is a little girl like you doing all by herself in the woods like this? Going to my grandma's house, if it's any of your business, and it's not, so please give me back my stuff. Aren't you a sassy lassie? Maybe I will go to your grandmother's house and eat her. What do you think about that? Put some sauce on her, maybe some ketchup or mayonnaise, I don't know. Oh, no, you won't. You're not putting mayonnaise on my grandma. I yelled and I kicked, and, but the wolf ran off. And wolves can run pretty fast, even when they're wearing little girl's red coat that doesn't fit quite right. 
I had to get to Grandma's, and fast. There was a dangerous wolf in the woods, so I ran. Ah! Run faster? Ah! Ah! Okay. Ah! Okay! Woo! Ah! We're here, at Grandma's house. Let me in, Grandma! There's a dang wolf outside in the woods, and he's stealing little girl's clothes, and parading around, and I had a... Ah! And this time, he's wearing my grandma's nightgown and sleeping cap. He even had on a pair of her high heels. And he was licking his paws, just like he'd eaten a snack. Or maybe, my grandma, what can I do? He's a wolf. But I had an idea. It was a good idea. I ran, and I ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran, and ran really, really fast. Okay. Like a cheetah. Like a cheetah? Yeah. What's that sound? It's like a clack, 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 clack. Is that the... <gasps> Look at that wolf! And he's still wearing my grandma's high heels. And you'll understand one day, it's impossible to run in high heels. Then, right there, with his twisted ankle and his belly full of my grandma, he started to get sick. It was really gross. He, he, the big bad wolf threw up. Ew. He threw up all over the place. He threw up my grandma. Oh, don't worry, she was fine, not a scratch. He threw up all the fruit roll-ups and the ice cream and the pizza and the Twinkies. I don't feel so good. It was gross. But it gave me and grandma time to get away. We called the police and the firemen and animal control and everybody we could think of. And I'm happy to tell you the wolf was caught and sold to the circus. And now, every year since, Grandma and I go to the circus when it comes to town just to laugh at the big bad wolf. <laughs> he doesn't know any tricks or anything, but it's just funny to see a big old wolf wearing high heels. And that's the end. Little Red and Grandma lived happily ever after. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye. They excitedly prepared for their super secret spy mission. Okay, do we have everything we need? Let's check. Binoculars? Check. Walkie talkies? Check. Night vision goggles? Check. Grappling hook? Check. Candy in case we get hungry. Ooh, good thinking. All right, let's go spy on the princess. Um, first of all, spy missions is that you don't yell that you're going on a spy mission. Hi kids, I'm Miss Booksy and this is Storytime. Today we're reading The Princess and the Pea. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, there was a prince named Henry, but everyone called him Hank. Prince Hank was going to be king one day, but first he had to get married. Why do I have to get married? And you have to marry a princess. No substitutes allowed. That was Prince Hank's mother, the queen. It was time for princess interviews. This was where princesses from near and far would come to the palace and meet the prince, hoping to become the next queen. Hey. Hi. You didn't curtsy. Next. Make sure you curtsy. Nope. Next. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, hello, princess. And what kingdom do you hail from? Oh, I'm not a princess. I work here, remember? <laughs> prince Hank did not remember. This was Miss Maggie, who had come to the palace to work for the queen. She had been there for ages, but Prince Hank was a little bit self-absorbed. That means he liked himself a lot and didn't care about or notice much else. You work here? What does that mean? Prince Hank was also not very familiar with work. He was a bit what we would call spoiled rotten. I'm a lady-in-waiting to the queen. Waiting? What are you waiting for? The bus? Lady-in-waiting means I wait on or serve the queen, kind of like an assistant. So you're not actually waiting for anything? No. And you're not here to try and marry me? Definitely not. The queen sent me to see if you needed anything. I suppose you could help me if any of these bootleg princesses try to get fresh. Very well. Next. Nope. Next. Wow, that is so mean. This went on for hours. To be or not to be, that is the question. I have the answer. Next. Oh, oh brother, no. As soon as a princess would enter the room, Prince Hank would send them away. 
why don't you just talk to any of these princesses? You know, try to get to know them. They might be great. You're being, I hate to say it, a little bit rude, dude. Look, baggy. Maggie. Whatever. I can't waste my time with girls who aren't queen material. The next queen has to be the real deal. Genuine, bona fide, 100% R-O-Y-U-L-L. That spells royal. No, it doesn't. Um, I'm pretty sure it does. Anyway, these so-called princesses are totally bleh, and I'm bored, so I'm gonna go take a nap. Wait, I, I think there's one more girl. Ugh, fine. Next. Oh, hello. That princess is so beautiful. You look familiar. You remind me of someone I like. Prince Hank liked this princess immediately and invited her to stay at the castle. He was smitten, but soon it was clear they actually had a lot in common. I can't wait to see what happens next. She was very picky. Ew, next. She was very into herself. And she was not very polite. <laughs> Somebody smells like cheese. Not me, I smell good. <laughs> After dinner, everyone went down to the parlor for the evening's entertainment. In an effort to impress the princess, Prince Hank sang a song. I live in a castle, I wear a crown. It's so shiny, it's so awesome. Your turn, princess, play us a song. Yeah, true love is great, and love is nothing. I met my prince. Wah, 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 wah. Wait, no. You need to go higher. Ah! Now it's like this. That was hilarious. Ah. Okay, I'm bored now. Where's my bed? That's when the queen leaned over to Maggie and whispered, This is how we'll tell if she's a real princess. The plan was to place one tiny green pea under the mattress in the guest bedroom. You see, supposedly a real princess would be so sensitive, she would feel the teeny tiny lump and not be able to sleep a wink. Maggie thought it was a little silly, but she followed the queen's orders. <laughs> okay, your bed's ready, princess. Finally, I'm exhausted. Well, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Ew, gross. Oh, sorry, it's just an expression. <laughs> Good night. What do you think will happen next? Chapter two, here we go. The next morning, Maggie and the Queen eagerly waited for the princess to join them for breakfast. Did their test work? Had she felt the pee? Finally, the princess came down. Good morning, princess. But before they could ask how she slept, the princess said, Oh my gosh, there was a giant lump in the middle of my mattress. I couldn't sleep at all. Oh really? Well, we'll have that taken care of at once. Maggie! On it, ma'am. Ooh, this is so exciting. So Maggie lugged a new mattress all the way up the stairs and plopped it on the bed. Ah, Surely she won't feel the pee under two mattresses. But the next morning played out the same. Ah, I couldn't sleep a wink. I could still feel this gigantic pokey lump. So Maggie pulled another mattress up the stairs and put it on the bed. Ah, okay. Maybe she could feel the pee with two mattresses, but good luck feeling it with three. <laughs> but you guessed it, the princess once again came down to breakfast, rubbing her eyes and yawning. And once again, Maggie was struggling to get yet another mattress up to the guest room and on top of a now very high bed. And this happened again and again and again and again. Wow, it's so colorful. Finally, Maggie asked the queen, Your Highness, isn't it obvious that the princess is a real princess? She felt the pee every single night, no matter how many mattresses I put on her bed. This is a very serious thing, Maggie. Do you know how many fake princesses there are out there? No. It's a real problem. Whatever you say, Your Highness. Oh, here she comes. Let me guess, you didn't sleep a wink? <gasps> how many does it take? A million? A million mattresses? I'll be dragging around mattresses until I'm an old lady. Hey, Maggie. Prince James. Prince James was Hank's twin brother. He was born four minutes after Hank, and being the younger twin, he would never be king, but he didn't mind. He was totally cool with just being a regular guy. Well, he was still a prince, but he was very laid back. Pretty much the opposite of Hank. That prince is 
so handsome. Maggie and James had known each other for quite some time and liked each other a lot. They liked to do not so royal things together, like fill up the palace pool with slime, eat ice cream sundaes till their tummies hurt, and sneak into the kitchen to mess with the royal chef's menu. Goose liver pate? No thanks. Let's just change it to pizza. Extra cheese. Ooh, add pineapple. Yep, they were partners in crime. Oh, uh, what you up to? The Princess Peach asked. The what? Prince Hank can only marry a true royal, and the queen wanted me to make sure that this girl's a real princess, so I put a pee under her mattress. Oh, yeah, I still don't get it. Well, apparently princesses have a super high sensitivity and can feel something as small as a tiny pee under their mattress. And sure enough, this princess has felt it every single night for like two whole weeks. So I just keep stacking mattresses, but she keeps complaining about the pee. Maybe she just likes to complain? That's a possibility. Hey, I have an idea. Let's take the pee out and see if she still says her mattress is lumpy. Ooh, scandalous. Let's do it. Wow, this is so fun. You almost got it. Just a little more. Okay, I see it. Get it, get it! Wow, I can't believe you lugged all those mattresses up there. I'm pretty strong. So, what now? We wait and see how the princess sleeps. It seemed like forever until the princess's bedtime. I win! No way! I always win! Mother always lets me win! You're playing the game wrong. Well, my mother always lets me win, so you're playing it wrong. Wanna play again? No, I'm gonna go to bed. Gee, I really hope I can sleep tonight. That bed is so lumpy. Anyway, good night, everybody! Good night, my love. Here comes the moment of truth. The next morning, Prince James and Maggie waited for the princess, eagerly awaiting her report. Here she comes. But instead of appearing well rested, the princess looked like she hadn't slept at all. The pee was gone, but the princess said, OMG, I literally tossed and turned all night long. Hmm, that sounds suspicious. Really? Yeah, it's like there's this lump right in the middle of the bed. I'm very sensitive to these things, you know, being a princess and all. Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter three, here we go. Maggie and James were totally confused. I don't get it. We removed the pee, but she says she still felt the lump. She must be making it up, but why would she randomly lie about something like that? I got it. She knows about the princess and the pee test. So she's faking it to seem like a real princess. Yeah, at least I think so. So if she's not a princess, who is she? I don't know, but we have to find out. How can we do that? We spy. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh this is so exciting. James and Maggie both loved a good caper. They excitedly prepared for their super secret spy mission. Okay, do we have everything we need? Let's check. Binoculars? Check. Walkie talkies? Check. Night vision goggles? Check. Grappling hook? Check. Candy in case we get hungry? Ooh, good thinking. All right, let's go spy on the princess. Um, first rule of spy missions is that you don't yell that you're going on a spy mission. <whistles> right, got it. Let's go. wait for her to reveal her true self. What do you think is gonna happen next? But the princess wasn't up to anything unusual. She did her nails, she read a magazine, she brushed her hair, she washed her face, you know, totally normal stuff. Wait, what? Uh -huh. What? No, that can't be. Ah, she's coming this way. So she's a witch. Major plot twist, but why the princess act? We have to get to the bottom of this. Maggie and James didn't have flying broomsticks, so they couldn't follow the princess, uh, witch, wherever she was going. So they just had to wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. The witch finally came back just before dawn. Oh no, I hope they'll be okay. James and Maggie watched as she emptied out a small bag. What's all that stuff? Wait, shh. 
listen. Okay, the recipe calls for the eye of a rattlesnake, the whiskers of a catfish, three mouse tails, one ounce of kangaroo sweat. Ew. She's casting a spell. And a lock of stallion hair. Now just stir and voila, the magic potion is ready to serve. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. So that's why Hank likes her so much. She's been feeding him love potions. Not on my watch. Let's go stop her. James and Maggie ran to breakfast to thwart whatever wicked plan the witch had cooked up. Okay, so what's our plan? Okay, when she gets down here... Good morning, princess, my love. Ah, she's here! What do we do? Wash her face! Hey, what the heck are you doing? James, stop washing my girlfriend. She's a witch. She's got green under there, and she has a pointy hat, and she flies around on a broomstick, and she cooked up a love potion to make you love her. She's not a real princess at all. She totally pretended to feel the pee under her mattress, but it was all a ruse. She's a witch, I tell ya. The witch? Oh, no. Are you done? Uh, yeah, I guess. OK, good. Apologize to the princess at once. Didn't you hear what I just said? Your girlfriend's a witch! It's no use, guys. He can't hear anything bad about me. He's in love. Can't you see? The spell is too powerful! That's right. And now you'll love me, too! <coughs> oh, no! The potion! Now we're going to... We're going to... To... I forget what I was going to say. Oh, really? Oh, hi, princess. You look so... So beautiful this morning. Ah, oh, why thank you, James. James, James, you're under her spell, can't you see? You're a pretty princess. Ah, what do I do now? How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Chapter four, here we go. This is terrible. Both princes are under the spell of the witch. Wait, why am I not under the spell? I breathed in the love potion too. Relax, it only works on princes. It's a very specific spell. Oh. Why? What are you trying to do? Well, I was trying to marry Prince Hank, but now I guess I have my choice, don't I? Maybe I'll marry Prince James. No! No? Ah, uh, does someone have a crush? Prince James and... What's your name again? Maggie. Maggie, sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Shush! First comes love. Then comes marriage. Oh, wait, not if I marry him. I can't hear you, la 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 la. Wow, that is so mean. Okay, I have to figure out how to defeat the witch and break the spell. All right, how do you destroy witches? <gasps> water! Yeah, I'll just dump a bucket of water on her like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. That won't work. And if you mess up my makeup, I will conjure up a curse. So bad. A curse? Oh no. Okay, fine. Uh, think, Maggie. Oh, Dorothy also crushed a witch with her house. That's your plan? You're gonna smush me with a house? Yeah, I guess not. Ooh, Hansel and Gretel pushed their witch into an oven. No, thanks. Face it, Maggie. Maggie. Whatever. Face it, Maggie. I'm going to marry the prince, and you can't stop me. Why do you even want to marry the prince anyway? Aren't we just supposed to marry, like, wizards or ogres or something? Seriously? What? You don't think witches grow up reading fairy tales too? They do? Yes! And all my life, deep down, I've known that I'm really supposed to be a princess. So when I heard there was a real prince looking for a princess, well, I put on my dress and I hightailed it over here. Ooh, that makes sense. Don't you think it's a little messed up that you used a love potion on Hank? I wanted him to like me. Honestly, I think you guys have a lot in common. I think he'd like you anyways. Really? You think so? Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? I think James likes you too, by the way. Really? I mean, yeah, I guess he's pretty cool. I was only kidding when I said that I might marry him. It doesn't matter. I'm not a princess. I don't know if you noticed, but I wear the same dress literally every single day. Well, except today. These are my spy clothes. Wait, I just got a great idea. Let's do a princess makeover! Fun! Aw, that's so sweet. Their princess makeover party was so much fun. 
The girls barely noticed that they were totally bonding. Could they really become friends? They sure looked like besties. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, you do know this doesn't technically make me a princess, right? Who cares? If you feel like a princess, you're a princess. End of story. Now let's go get Hank and James and go have some fun. <laughs> princess, my love. No, she's my love. Um, I think you have to break the spell first. Oh, right. Do you have any lizard tails or grasshopper belly buttons? Uh, not on me. Well, that was weird. <laughs> I'll just try a chant. All right, let's see, this should work. Loveth, spell, break yourself. What happened? I feel weird. Hey, Maggie, cool dress. <laughs> this whole thing? <laughs> Hey, I got an idea. Let's go play mini golf and get some ice cream. Great idea. OMG, I love it. So the four went out on a double date and had a blast. The princess witch was nervous to reveal her true identity to Prince Hank, but he thought it was pretty cool. Ice creamiosa magicus flyeth into my mouth. <laughs> That is amazing! This is seriously so much cooler than being royalty. It took a little convincing for the queen to come around, but she realized that having a royal family member with magical powers could come quite in handy. But most importantly, she saw how happy the princess witch and Hank were. The queen did have one question though. So did you really feel the pee into all those mattresses? No, I read about that in a fairy tale once, so I thought it was worth a shot. The queen also approved the match between James and Maggie. They were obviously perfect for each other. Yay! So the story ends with the happiest of fairy tale endings. Not just one true love, but two. And a couple of girls who grew up loving fairy tales became real princesses. Pretty cool. Oh, happily ever after. Hi, Princess Maggie here. As you know, I haven't always been an official princess, but I pretty much grew up in a palace. So I know a thing or two about royal life. Of course, you already know that palaces are big and pretty and full of fancy stuff, but there's a lot you don't know. But don't worry, I'm here to tell you everything you always wanted to know about hashtag castle life. <laughs> here are my top seven secrets about living in a palace. Let's start the countdown with secret number seven. They say there's nothing you can do to make a royal guard laugh. Hmm. Tough crowd. <laughs> but did you know there's one trick that always gets them? Got your nose. Give that back. Every time. Castle secret number six. Castles are the best for hide and seek. There are endless hiding spots. Towers. You'll never find me here. Ballrooms. Dungeons. <laughs> and even the classic, under the bed. Castle secret number five. There aren't really any alligators in the moat. Those are just actually alligator pool floaties. The moat is basically like the lazy river ride at the water park. We just chill and float around. Castle secret number four. The throne is actually very uncomfortable. There's like zero cushioning and it's all lumpy, worse than a pee under your mattress. <laughs> Side note, those huge crowns the king and queen wear, also not so comfy. It's like trying to balance a birthday cake on your head. <laughs> and that brings me to secret number three. Those big crowns are the perfect hiding spot for snacks. Okay, castle secret number two. There are hidden tunnels everywhere. And some of them are like really long slides. And finally, castle secret number one, and my personal favorite, pretty much every castle has an official royal mascot. <laughs> Could be a dragon, or a unicorn, or a pug in a taco costume. <laughs> but whatever it is, count on it being the most super awesome royal buddy you could ever have. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome to Sweets Cafe. He always has the best stories and he's an amazing chef. I can't wait to hear what he's gonna tell us about today. Welcome to Sweets Cafe. The tale of Jackie and the jelly bean stalk. While Jackie was asleep, she heard a loud sound, like it came from the bottom of the earth. What was that? 
Jackie jumped out of bed and ran straight to the window, where she saw the most amazing thing, a giant beanstalk. Not just a regular beanstalk, a jelly beanstalk. Huh? Uh-oh. Hi, sweeps. Hi, Rosie. It's Dreamy Beanie Soup Day. So many people, but... Nobody got their soup. You'll never believe what happened. I ran out of beans. It's been a while, but I guess we'll just have to wait. It'll be worth it. What happened to all the beans? All gone. I cooked soup all night. Giant barrels of soup. Well, what happened to all the soup you made? The giants ate it all. What giants? The giants that Jackie met in the sky after she climbed the giant magic jelly bean tree in her garden. I think you mean Jack. From Jack and the Beanstalk. No, oh, it's Jackie, not Jack. And it was a jelly beanstalk. Jelly beans are way better than regular old beans. Tell me the whole story. Are you ready? Let's go. Pound the table, clap your hands. Off we go to magic lands. Stir the batter, lick the spoon. Hold on tight, we'll be there soon. In Jackie's great family, everyone ate green, healthy food. There's Jackie's mom. There's Jackie's dad. There's Jackie's baby sister. And there's Jackie, who, um, who likes to eat treats. Oh dear, Jackie, what are you doing? How many times do I have to tell you? Whipped cream is not lunch. Jackie always wanted to eat only treats. Treats in the morning, treats for lunch, treats at dinner. She kind of looks like me. Now that you mention it, she does look a little bit like you. Just before Dad went to the market to get bean soup for the whole family, Jackie yeah. surprised everyone and asked to go herself. Are you sure, Jackie? Absolutely sure. I think it's a great idea, Jackie. You really are a big girl already. Do you remember what to buy? I remember four bowls of the famous dreamy beanie soup from Chef Sweets. Great. Here are our last five coins. It will be just enough for the soups. Thanks, Mom. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Hi, Rosie. What a lovely hot day. How about an ice cream cone? Or maybe an ice cream sundae? No candies for me today. Now I really have to go. And Jackie was happy and proud of herself. She also said no to Mr. Bonbon, bon, who showed her a wonderful fairy made of chocolate. No, Mr. Bonbon. Bon. And thank you, Mr. Bonbon. Bon. Mom sent me to buy only bean soup from Chef Sweets. Until eventually she met a mysterious man. Hello, little girl. <laughs> so, what would you like to buy? To buy? There's nothing here. Your stall's empty. Right you are! My stall has nothing! But I also have everything! All you need to do is dream and hope! Interesting. I want lots of colorful jelly beans, but not just a little bit. Lots and lots! Hmm, give me a minute. Let me see. I think I had... Oh! Ta-da! There you go. It costs exactly five coins. You can pay at the register. Thank you and goodbye. What? But there's only three tiny beans here. Doesn't matter. I'll sell the beans to the next customer. The magic beans. Magic? Sorry? Did you say magic beans? Well, uh, yes, the beans. They just make every wish you want come true. That can't be. So for you, it really won't happen. Why? For it to work, you need to dream and hope. But it costs five coins. And my mom asked me to buy bean soup. Uh, well, that's not a problem. There are three beans here for three wishes. Soup to eat, something sweet, and there's one more wish left. Give it to your mom. She'll be amazed by the charm. Okay. After the meeting with the mystery man, Jackie finally got to my food truck. Would you like a pinch of sour cream with your dreamy beanie soup? How could I not? You, you can't. can't! Hi, Jackie. I've already packed bowls of soup for your whole family. Today, I don't need to buy bean soup. Because with the money Mom gave me, I bought three magic beans. They make your dreams come true. Magic beans? Are you sure? Can I see them? I know they just look like normal beans. You just have to dare and dream, sweets. Now, bye, Chef Sweets. 
good luck with the magic beans. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jackie. How was the market? It was great. I didn't buy any ice cream at Mr. Sorbet's stall. Oh, I have a really, really good girl. Soup. But Jackie, where's the soup? The soup? Uh, you're not gonna believe it, Mom. Soon, we'll have lots and lots of soup. And I'll have candy. And you'll still have one special wish. Anything you want. Here we go. What are you talking about, Jackie? What did you do? What wish? You didn't buy bean soup from the wonderful chef sweet stall? No, I bought three beans. Magic beans. They make your wishes come true. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jackie, I asked for soup, but instead, what did you buy? But... Mom? Now get to bed. I don't want to hear another word from you. What a silly thing to do. So sad. <laughs> but hey, it's just the beginning. While Jackie was asleep, she heard a loud sound, like it came from the bottom of the earth. What was that? Jackie jumped out of bed and ran straight to the window, where she saw the most amazing thing, a giant beanstalk. Not just a regular beanstalk, a jelly beanstalk. Oh, wow. Jackie was so happy. They really were magic beans. Not such a silly fool after all. Jackie picked more and more jelly beans. And then she kept on climbing and ate more and more yummy beans. She climbed and ate and climbed and ate some more until she was so high up that she went into a cloud. And when she came out of it, she saw a big door. Wow. I mean a huge door. Jackie wanted to know what was behind the door, but the handle was so high. I'll climb on the branch, take a big swing, and jump so high, I'll land on the handle. And that's exactly what Jackie did. She climbed, hung onto the branch, took a big swing, and jumped! Okay, okay, I'll get a gift. But not today. Only yesterday you got a remote control car. Ah! I think I should leave. I don't want that anymore. My baby. Present! I mean, I want a present! Give me a present! I want a present now! Little one. Yeah. Impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. The giants discovered Jackie! Yes, they did. Did they do anything to her? Well, little one was a baby, and when he saw Jackie... Oh! Yay! Little one's happy! Little one's happy! Ouch! A talking dog! So this is how little one played with Jackie. She tried to run away, but little one was so big. Jackie managed to sneak off and hide inside his shoe. Where'd you go? Little dog, where'd you go? Come back, I want you. I'll find you. I'll find you. Psst. Hi, Rosie. Sweet. I'm so happy to see you. How did you know I needed help? How did I know? The whole town is shaking. Lots of earthquakes. Then I remembered the mysterious beans, and I thought I'd come by and check your garden. I'm so glad you found me. But what are we going to do? We have to escape quickly. Uh-oh. So, this is the plan. In order to run away, we need the giants. The giants? To go to sleep. And for the giants to go to sleep, they need... They need... To be full! And what do giants love eating the most? Um... Soup! Dreamy beanie soup! Really? I hope so. I have no idea. But this is what I made. So we'll need a bit of luck. We'll need a lot of soup. With a pinch of sour cream. Don't worry. I've been cooking all night. I cooked and I cooked. And now we just have to hope for the best. Hang tight! 
Hello, giant family. I'm happy to inform you that your little one won an award. An award? Yes, he won the costume contest at school yesterday. He didn't tell you? No. You have such a talented boy, and so modest, too. He dressed up as a bean. It was amazing. As a bean? Little one, I'm so proud of you. Anyway, come help me bring in the prize. It's bean soup? Bean soup? Bean soup! So, did they like your dreamy beanie soup? I'm not sure liked is the right word. Oh no. I would say they loved the soup. They ate and ate and ate and ate. Yum. This is good. This is good. This is great. Green, healthy, and very yummy. And the sour cream mm. is fantastic. Bean soup. <laughs> Mom? Jackie! Are you okay? We were so worried about you. Yes, Mom, I'm fine. Thanks to Sweets. He rescued me from the giant's house. Giants! I'm deciding that today I want to taste real food. I want a bowl of dreamy beanie soup from Chef Sweets. Chef Sweets, is there any more soup left? Not even a drop. But tomorrow morning, I'll reopen the stand, and I will save you four wonderful bowls of dreamy beanie soup. Would you like a pinch of sour cream? How could we not? We, we could <laughs> <laughs> What an amazing story. Ooh, ooh, guess what that means? The bean delivery is here. Soon we'll have dreamy beanie soup for everyone. Oh, I just love a happy ending. That was so much fun, right? Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a story. Bye. <gasps> They're gone. Oh no. Uh-oh, kids. The evil witch had escaped outside and she took Rapunzel with her. It was up to Drew to find them before Miss Booksy got back. Hmm, if I were an evil witch who likes to keep princesses captive, where would I go? That's it, the cool school tower, of course. With no time to spare, Drew whipped out his mighty pen ultimate and he sketched a super awesome flying horse. <laughs> to the cool school tower, we have a princess to save. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. In today's episode, Drew's gotta save a real life princess. Let's hope it ends happily ever after. And don't forget our special game today, kids. See how many of these princess crowns you can find hidden in the episode. And don't forget to tell us in the comments below how many you found. It was story time at Cool School and Drew and his buddies were waiting for Miss Booksy to arrive so they could start today's story, Rapunzel. Where is Miss Booksy? I'm so ready for story time. Hey guys, check this out. I made a come to life zapper. I'm alive, awesome. Wow, can you make Rapunzel come to life? I could braid her hair. Sure, why not? Uh oh. <laughs> What is this place? It stinks of kids. I kind of like it. It sure beats being alone in a tower. OMG, I can't believe it. You're a real witch and princess. Somebody pinch me. Ow! Uh, guys, if Rapunzel and the witch aren't in the book, how are we gonna have story time? <gasps> They're gone! Oh no! Uh-oh, kids! The evil witch had escaped outside and she took Rapunzel with her! It was up to Drew to find them before Miss Booksy got back! Hmm, if I were an evil witch who likes to keep princesses captive, where would I go? That's it! The cool school tower, of course! With no time to spare, Drew whipped out his mighty pen ultimate and he sketched a super awesome flying horse! <laughs> To the cool school tower, we have a princess to save. And Drew was off to the races on a quest to save Rapunzel from the evil witch and put them back in the book where they belong. Hey, can you fly me up to the top? I've only been alive for a couple of minutes. Not really sure how the wings work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you work on that. I'll figure out another way to get up there. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let your hair down. Wow, nice. 
great hair. Drew took hold of Rapunzel's hair and started climbing and swinging his way to the tippity top of the tower. Hang on, Princess, I'm coming. Jeez, hair climbing is harder than it looks. You again? What are you doing here? I'm here to save the princess from your evil grasp and bring you guys back to cool school so you can return to your storybook. He came all this way just to save the day. Hip, 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 hooray! You can rap? Uh, yeah. Where do you think I got my name? Rap, Unzel, Rapunzel, get it? Listen here, fake prince. I found a tower here in this strange world you come from, and we will not be going anywhere. Now, shoot. We'll see about that. Drew pulled out his pen and sketched a super cool sandwich shooting cannon. Oh, sandwiches. My favorite. Just as I suspected, no witch can resist sandwiches. Rapunzel, quick. Down this slide! Finally! Transportation that doesn't involve pulling my hair! Whee! Hey! Where'd my sandwiches go? I'll give you as many as you like if you come back with me to cool school. Do you have grilled cheese and liver? Or peanut butter and jelly with slices of banana and asparagus? Uh, yeah, sure. As many as you like. Say no more. Let's go! Well, if it isn't my knight in shining armor. I think I got it this time. Let's just take the land route. Okay, suit yourself. Whoa! Yeah, yeah Drew, you found them. Hey, Rapunzel, can I get a quick selfie? Sweet! Totally getting at least a thousand likes for this one. All right, evil witch. A giant stash of sandwiches, just like I promised. Now time to go back where you came from. Uh, am I gonna have to go back in that tower again? That's how the story goes, sweet pea. At least we've got these sandwiches to keep us busy. Uh-oh, Miss Booksy's coming. Oh, uh, bye guys, bon appetit. Hi kids, sorry I'm late. I couldn't find my glasses. Turned out they were on my head the whole time. <laughs> Silly me. Anyway, today we're reading a very special story. Rapunzel, wait till you meet these characters. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Once upon a time in a, hmm, that's weird. I don't remember this story having so many sandwiches. Well kids, Drew saved the day again. Rapunzel and the Evil Witch were back where they belong. And story time was back on track. More of the story, boys and girls. Never use come to life zappers on storybooks unless you want to have a play date with witches and princesses. And try sandwiches the next time you're looking to defeat a witch. They're sure to do the trick. And I hope you didn't forget to count the crowns in today's episode. How many did you find? You can still go back and look for them if you want, or you can stick around for the answers. There's one, and two. Oh, there's number three. And finally, there's number four. Did you find all four crowns? Great work, kids. Oh, oh no, where'd he go? Where'd the big bad wolf take my grandma? Oh, oh no, run! I ran outside. I figured the wolf couldn't have gotten very far, so I set off through the woods to find them. But the woods were getting a little dark and extra scary. Uh. Hi kids, welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today, we're reading Little Red Riding Hood. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hi, I'll take it from here. My name is Bonnie, but everyone calls me Little Red Riding Hood. I have no idea why. <laughs> Anyway, my life is pretty cool, almost fairy tale like I live in a house in a small village where everyone is super friendly and nothing bad ever happens. Well, one time the market ran out of chocolate chip cookies and that was a really bad day. <laughs> but other than that, everything is thumbs up all the time. <gasps> That's amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty much friends with everyone I know, but my very best friend of all time is my grandma. <laughs> She's the sweetest, most amazing lady you'll ever meet. We do like everything together. We bake, we travel, we do arts and crafts. We go to the movies. And we just hang out. But 
but whatever we do, it's just great to be together. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into the story. It all started when I got a call. Hello. Hello, Little Red. It's Grandma. Achoo! Gazootite, are you sick? I think so. My head is achy. My belly hurts. I've got chills, and I can't get out of bed. Oh, no. I hope she's okay. No, that's terrible. I'll be right over with soup and juice and medicine and ice cream. Ice cream is essential when you're sick. Alrighty, I'm all packed up. To grandmother's house we go. I couldn't waste any time, so I decided to take a shortcut through the woods. Even though my mom specifically said to stick to the village roads, and everything was fine. Easy breezy and honky dory, until I started to sneeze. Achoo! Is that a dog? I'm allergic to dogs. That must be why I'm achoo! Sneezing. I better hurry up and get to Grandma's house. So I picked up the pace. Hello. Uh-oh. Uh she better watch out. Uh, a talking dog? No, I am a wolf. Uh, oh, I beg your pardon, talking wolf. Wait, a wolf? Too scary. Don't be afraid, I am a nice wolf. Okay. Could there really be such a thing as a nice wolf? I'm not so sure. Uh, uh, Bless you. Thanks. I think I'm a little bit allergic to you. Oh, no. Well, then I'll leave you. But could you spare a crumb of food for a poor old wolf? I'm hungry. Well, this stuff is for my grandma. She's sick. I'm going to her house now. Is that right? Well, I can't let you do that. <laughs> you, you can't? No, I insist you must pick some flowers first. Oh, pick some flowers? <laughs> yes, it will cheer your grandmother up. Oh, and do you know any jokes? Jokes? Her laughter is the best medicine. You absolutely must tell her some jokes. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll bring her some flowers and tell her some hilarious jokes. She'll be better in no time. Say, do you know any jokes? Oh, certainly. What do you call a lost wolf? What? A werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, how about this one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Werewolf. Werewolf who? Werewolf I find in the bathroom. <laughs> how about this one? What did the wolf say when someone stepped on his foot? What? Ow! Pretty great. Thanks. My pleasure. Oh my, what big teeth you have. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Well, goodbye. And with that, the wolf bounded away into the woods. He seemed nice enough, right? Hmm, I don't know about this. Let's keep reading. Chapter two, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Grandma's gonna love these flowers, but I better get going. It's getting late. So I skipped ahead to Grandma's house, and again, everything was just fine until I <gasps> uh, tripped. Uh, uh, huh? I'm stuck in a trap. But who would set a trap? I've only seen that wolf around here, and he seemed perfectly nice. But what I didn't know at the time, kids, was that wolf was not nice at all. In fact, he was bad. The big bad wolf? Oh no! In fact, I am so bad that people call me a big bad wolf. I'm so bad that I do things like huff and puff and blow your house down. So bad that one time I ate a little boy just because he kept crying wolf. And now I've set a trap for Little Red Riding Hood all because I want to get to Grandma's house first. Why, you ask? Well, because I'm going to eat her. Don't act surprised. I told you, I am bad. So, Little Red Riding Hood is probably stuck in their trap somewhere. And look at me. I'm on my way to Grandma's house. Bon appetit. Hello. Grandma, it's me. Ah, watch out. Meanwhile, ugh, I'm totally stuck. All right, time. 
time to show off my survival skills. Super crucial survival skill number one, yell for help. Help! 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 Kids, I yelled and yelled, but it didn't seem like anyone was around to hear. What's that saying? If a tree falls in a forest and there's no one around to hear it, does it even make a sound? Well, that's how I felt. Like a sad, lonely tree. Hello? Huh? Hello? I'm over here! Where? Here! Keep talking! I'll follow your voice! Oh, well, I've been stuck here for a while, and I was going to my grandma's because I was, I was, but I stopped because there was a wolf, because then I said, so I got some flowers, and then I picked the flowers, I put them in my bag, and I was running, and I was running, and I was so tired, a little bit hungry, too. And you know, I feel like I'm kind of sweating. It's a little bit humid today, and, oh! Hi, I got stuck in this trap. Can you help me? Of course. There you go. Oh, I'm free. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Name's Big Al, licensed lumberjack. I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Pleased to make your acquaintance. You may be wondering what I'm doing in the woods this late. Well, I'm on my way to my grandma's house. See, she's sick. Everything was fine until I got distracted by that old wolf. I think I'm allergic to him. And then I got stuck in this darn trap. You say you saw a wolf? Yeah, a talking wolf. Crazy, right? Did he have a fancy sounding accent? Yeah, he did actually. How did you know? That wolf is bad news. But he seemed so nice. Little Red, if you don't mind, I'd like to walk with you the rest of the way to your grandma's house. You know, that wolf, he might be dangerous. Oh, I'd be most appreciative, Big Al. Aw, that is so nice. So Big Al the Lumberjack walked with me, keeping watch for the wolf. But we didn't see him. And I didn't have any sniffles or sneezes at all, so he must have been far away. <gasps> Look, there's my grandma's house. Thanks for the escort, Big Al. <laughs> no problem. See you around. Grandma, it's me, Little Red. <clears throat> Come on in. Wow, she sounds really sick. Good thing I'm here. <laughs> Grandma? Huh? Huh? Ah <gasps> Hello, Little Red. Need a tissue? Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's keep reading. Chapter three, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Okay, so that's not my grandma, obviously. It's the big bad wolf, but he's wearing my grandmother's clothes. <laughs> As if that would fool me. Whatever, I'll just play along. What would you do if this happened to you? Wow, grandma, you look real sick. Yes, I'm quite ill. I mean, just awful. You look dreadful, terrible. Okay, I get it, enough. And my, how big your teeth look. I don't remember your teeth looking so ridiculously huge. Oh, I mean, oh. And you're so hairy. I don't remember you being so fuzzy. I should probably give you a nice shave. Let me go fetch a razor. No, I mean, I should lie down. I'm feeling quite queasy. Oh, of course. So I tucked in the big bad wolf. Weird, I know. <laughs> he actually did seem a little ill though. Went out like a light. Never mind that. I needed to find my grandma. I looked all around the house, under beds, behind the curtains, inside cupboards, in the basement. Grandma? In the closets, on the roof. Grandma? Everywhere. Where could she be? But then I heard something. Uh, grandma? I looked everywhere. Where could the sound be coming from? Little Red. I followed the sound of my grandmother's voice all the way to... Help me! Huh? Get me out of here, Red! Oh no, this doesn't look good. Shh, the wolf is sleeping. How did you get inside his belly? He ate me! What? Swallowed me in one gulp. Lucky for me, he doesn't chew his food. That's why he was feeling so queasy. Well, I'm gonna get you out of there, Grandma. Don't you worry. Hurry. Achoo! Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so kids, I was really in a pickle. How was I supposed to get my grandmother out of the big bad wolf's belly? I decided to consult an expert, the internet. 
Uh, I keep trying to get Grandma to upgrade. Come on, come on! I'm in a hurry, Internet! What's time for this? Yeesh! Finally. Okay, here we go. What to do when your grandma gets eaten by a big bad wolf? Hmm. Says here, I gotta make the wolf throw up. Ew. Gross. Or else I'd have to perform surgery to get her out? Ugh. I know. I'll call the veterinarian, of course. Hello? Dr. Veterinarian? I have a bit of an emergency. I need an operation for my, uh, pet. Wolf. Oh, you don't? Okay, thanks anyway. <sighs> okay, so it turned out the veterinarian had a strict no wolf policy. Okay, Grandma, looks like we're gonna need to do the throw up thing. Yuck! <sighs> oh no, where'd he go? Where'd the big bad wolf take my grandma? <sighs> oh no, run! I ran outside. Grandma! Grandma! I figured the wolf couldn't have gotten very far, so I set off through the woods to find them. But the woods were getting a little dark and extra scary. Uh, but I knew I had to be brave to rescue my grandma from the big bad wolf. Slow down. You're jostling me. Can it, Granny? Mind your manners, young man. I've got to remember to chew next time. What was that? Boy, I wish I had picked a less annoying grandma to eat. Oh. I heard that. Grandma! Ah! Oh, no, not her. Over here, little red. Ow! Jostling! Grandma! Grandma! What do you think is going to happen next? Let's keep reading. Chapter 4, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back. You know me, of course. I am the big bad wolf. Yes, we all know you're big and bad. whoop de doo That's Little Red's grandma. She's in my belly. Yep, and it stinks to high heaven in here. Shush, Grandma, and quit moving around in there. You're giving me indigestion. You just wait. Little Red will come and save me. She's the smartest little whippersnapper I ever saw. But she has to find me first, and she'll never do that. <laughs> that is so not cool. Check it out. I've got the best video games, a milkshake machine, a foosball, and a super classy waterbed. This is where I hibernate, aka nap for the entire winter. Wolves don't hibernate. That's for bears. Well, that's not fair. Hibernation is the best. You eat a huge meal, and then you settle down for a long winter's nap. What could be better? Whatever. And you should be glad, Granny. That means you'll be safe in my tummy for a long, long time. So, I'd been all over the dark woods looking for the big bad wolf, and, of course, my grandma. For a while, I could hear my grandma calling for me, but then I lost track of her. Grandma! 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 See? Nothing. I was so scared. What if I never found her? I was starting to freak out. And when I freak out, the only thing I can do to calm me down is a solo dance party. Wow, this is so fun. Little Red? <laughs> Celebrating because your grandma's all better? No, not even close. She's gone and I can't find her, Big Al. You were right about the wolf. He's big and he's bad and he ate my grandma. What? Yeah, I know. So I've been looking all over for her and it's like they just disappeared. So, you're dancing? That's what I do to calm down. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Well, let's go find your grandma. You help me? Of course. You think I'm going to stand by while some big bad wolf is terrorizing nice girls and eating their grandmas? It's on. All right, <laughs> let's go kick some big bad wolf tail. <laughs> so, we were off to find the big bad wolf and rescue my grandma. <laughs> A gazillion hours later. But the finding part turned out to be really super crazy hard. It seriously was like the big bad wolf had just disappeared into thin air. 
Oh, where are they? We've looked all over the woods and no sign of them anywhere. Oh, and my nose didn't even tingle once. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I'm allergic to the wolf, so when I'm near him, my nose gets all itchy and sniffly. It's like my spidey sense. I see. And no sniffles? Nope, I'm the perfect picture of health. Unfortunately, <laughs> I feel like we just need a lucky break. I know, right? Well, no use in hanging around here. Yeah, let's go. What? No, that can't be it. That's right, walk away. Nothing to see here. <laughs> what? Is Little Red nearby? Little Red, I'm right here. Come back. It's no use, Granny. <sighs> Just about time for my nap. So keep it down in there, okay? Uh, what? Jump! What was that? Nothing. Shh. I knew she'd come back. Little Red, Little Red. Achoo! <sighs> Big Al, I sneezed. Oh, sorry. Bless you. No, Al, I sneezed. Oh, right. That means... He's right under... Uh, achoo! Nose! Whew, that was a close one. Let's keep reading. Chapter 5. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Hey, guys. So, yeah, I was starting to fear I'd never find the Big Bad Wolf and save my grandma. But then, my reliable Big Bad Wolf detector went off. My allergies. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, so... He's gotta be here somewhere. But where, huh? Is he hiding up in the tree branches? Maybe he has a tree house. Tree houses are very cool. Yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like there's anything up there. I don't get it. We've looked all over. To the left, to the right. We've looked up. Hey, we haven't looked down yet. Oh, well, I think that we would have noticed if you're sitting on the ground, Al. <laughs> Maybe he's underneath the ground. Hmm, like a super secret big bad wolf hideout or something. <gasps> I know it sounds crazy, but... Hey, what's that blinking red light? Huh? Uh-oh, they better watch out. Looks like a security camera. In the woods? Ah! Did you hear that? The wolf! Haha, <laughs> we're on to you, wolf. Yeah, watch out! Here we come! Uh, Big Al, how do we get down there? Good question! Wait, I got it! Okay, nope, that don't work! Ha 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 ha! Nice try! Dang! Now how are we gonna get down there? Um, Big Al, look! Hey, did I do that? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of an accident, but whatever, let's go! Gotcha! Freeze, Wolfie! Little Red, thank goodness! Okay, Wolf, it's time to give me back my grandma. Chop her up! Never! Well, I guess Big L is gonna have to chop her out! Yikes, no way! Whoa, 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 that's not really in my job description. Okay, well, then the Big Bad Wolf is gonna have to throw her up. Ew. Oh, I hate throwing up, it's icky! Well, it's icky being inside here. Do what Little Red says. Ouch! Did you just kick me? Yeah, and there's more where that came from, too. Ow! Got it out, Granny, or I'll eat Little Red here for dessert. Oh, no, you won't. hi -ya! <laughs> Grandma! Little Red! Yay, I'm so happy. Yuck! Oh, now my breath totally stinks. Ew. Oh, Little Red, I am so glad you found me. Me too, but my job's not over yet. Big Al, let's tie this wolf up. You tie me up. You're going to jail. No. Pretty happy ending, right? <laughs> we saved Grandma and the big bad wolf was about to go to jail. Uh, Little Red? Yeah, what? He got away. What? No. What? No, that can't be. I don't know. He just up and vanished. Granny, did you see which way he went? Don't ask me. Oh no, the Big Bad Wolf is on the loose again! Oh no, this doesn't look good. Let's keep reading. Chapter six, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. So, the Big Bad Wolf had escaped, just gone, the moose split like a banana. There must be a secret tunnel or something, cool! This isn't cool, Big Al. We have to get to the wolf, he's a villain. 
Come on! A secret hideout with an underground escape tunnel? You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Not if we can't find the escape tunnel. I mean, we just poke a book or something and the doorway just opens up? Ah! Hey, you found it! Grandma! It looks just like a water slide. Come on, Big Al, we're going in. Wow, that is so cool. Woohoo! We're coming for you, Grandma! Okay, little red! Ah! Ouch! Ow! Uh, ow! It's dark down here! Where are we? I think we're in the sewer. Like those ninja turtles. That means we must be close to town. We'll just climb out and find the police. They'll be able to help us catch the big bad wolf. Nice try, but no. This is actually a dungeon. <laughs> ah, the big bad wolf! Achoo! That's right, and you're my prisoners now. Forever! <laughs> you're trapped. You'll never get out. Wow, that is so mean. No way! Let us out! Huh? Ah! A good lumberjack never travels without his tools. Well then, I guess I'll just have to run! Ow! Aw, oh, guess you're just trapped down there forever now, huh? <laughs> Sad. Okay, so now I can finally report that there was a happy ending. We fetched the police and they came for the big bad wolf. Big Al and I got super cool deputy badges and our pictures in the paper. And Grandma got a high-tech security system to keep the big bad wolves out. Hello? It's me, Grandma. Hi, not a big bad wolf or anything. <laughs> Just making sure. Gotta play it safe. And best of all, I got my grandma slash best friend back. <laughs> I went to visit her like every single day. Big Al even came over sometimes. And we would just sit around and laugh about the time the big bad wolf got trapped in his own stinky dungeon. <laughs> and eat ice cream, of course. <laughs> ice cream is essential when you're hanging out with friends. Wow, that was so much fun. <sighs> I just love happy endings. Thanks for coming. Bye.